show you what we have to do. So, so do this. Do that. Hey. Okay, hey. like that, and then bang it on. CSEs, O levels, A levels, the most important time in the school calendar. A time when people's future careers will be decided. This is why you are here. What do you want, Barry? Mr. Mayne sent me, sir. What for? Speaking on someone in the playground, sir. If it was an accident. We should be in assembly. In many ways, this school is like the nation. There are far too many people who are content to get away with seven out of ten. With more attention, more concentration, with harder work, these people could easily get eight out of ten and higher. Not that I will be thanked for pointing that out to them or for pushing them forward when the going gets tough. No. I calculate that the difference between being a great nation and being a mediocre nation lies somewhere between nine and seven out of ten. Good morning, Miss Martin. Good morning, Mr. Griffiths. addressing only a small minority among you. But what I want to say to that minority is stop. Think. What I want to say to all of you is how glad I am to be here with you this morning. The British system of policing relies heavily on your cooperation and approval. When you leave this school, you will all become citizens in our society. And as citizens, you will all have an active role to play. Local bank manager. Every citizen... What's he doing? 
He's offering him interest-free loans for the first three years after they leave school. Pay it back out of the dough money. The, law. the laws of our country are not designed to oppress, but to safeguard your freedoms. What's brought all this on? The Eighth Commandment. Thou shalt not nick from the local packy sweet shop. The incredible bulk behind you. The freedom of every member of society. If a person sees a crime being committed, all we know about. Still got your cock, so what's you complaining about? Come on, fighting nerd, you've been lying there bloody hours. Bloody hell! Chloe! Wait, hold it! Move! Bills! What are you? Cheeky, sir, and stupid. No, what class are you? B1, sir. What are you doing here? Shut out. You're cheeky. And stupid, sir. Turds, sir. I do believe you're right, brother. Thanks, turds. And the first thing to do when converting to a different base is to write up your column heading. Okay, and converting to base five, we start off with units, and then five to the power. So you divide your column headings into the number you're trying to convert. 625 obviously does not go. 125 does not go. 25 does go. So you have one left over. One left over. Five doesn't go into one, so we have a naught. And then one does... I want you all to come over to this side of the class quietly! Whatever is done in this class will be done quietly. Right. Down there, at the gate, if you cannot see Margaret, come and stand here. You're right, Dennis, sir. Come and stand here, please. I don't want to argue with you about it. Take a good look. Down there, <laughs> hanging around for no good reason, can be seen a colourful selection of those among us who failed to acquire qualifications before setting foot in the real world. As you can see... John McCarthy got CSEs. Margaret, a CSE is to an O-level what lard is to butter. These people are reduced to hanging around the school gate, looking back on lost opportunities. Sit down, quietly. I have no time for failures. Noise and disorder are the enemies of learning. There is going to be order in this class and there is going to be discipline. Because this class is going to leave the protection of this school with the requisite minimum number of O-levels beneath its belt. The choice is work or the rabble. Any person anxious to join the rabble may do so now.
We have wasted time. terrorist attack in assembly and we've been sorting out the bits of arms and legs. Also, I lost my timetable and I had to go and get another one from the office, which is like trying to get an interview with the Pope. Right, my name is Jeff Fig. I know all the gags about figs, most of them filthy. I'll tell you them all one day. I haven't taught you a lot before. I've only been here a term and a half. Are you going to sit in your seats or are we all going to come and sit on the windowsill? Right, sit down. Okay, any of you taking O levels? <laughs> right, is there anyone here taking CSEs? What are you taking? Where are you going? To do wee wee, sir. Have you got your matches and are you coming back? I need matches to do wee wee, sir. Well, let's not get into that now. What's your name? Wee wee, sir. Right, you better go and do your wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. To see fit. Right. Sit down. What's your name? Ram Kassoon, sir. No, it's Pfizer, sir. Shut <laughs> Okay, what were you working on last term, before half term, that is? Who taught you last term? Mr. Bartholomew. No, it wasn't. It was Mr. Bartholomew, clever sod. We had Mr. Bartholomew, and then we had Mr. Weir, and then he was swapped over with. What was her name? I don't know, do I? Miss Dunn. Miss Dunn. Yeah, she been done. <laughs> Clever sort. So, you had different teachers. What did I just say? What do you do with these teachers? Chuck them out. Nothing. Piss all. I bleeding swearing. You read books? No, the teacher read books. What did you do? Copying out. That's what we do. We do copying out. What? I don't know. Do you have a textbook? What do you copy out? A book. What book? What is it called? Hard times. You're joking. Hard times? Yes. Hard times. Who's that by? Who wrote it? Don't you know? I was asking a class as a general question. Do you know who wrote Hard Times? You're the bloody teacher. You ought to know. I just copied it out. Does anybody here know who wrote Hard Times? studies from that. Yes. <clears throat> when uh, taking a science class, I think it better to be in the science laboratory. It's less confusing all round. We have discussed it before. Yes. Uh, do you have a free period? Yes. Uh, I'd like a talk in, say, five minutes? Where? Here. Uh, staff room. Be quiet there.
pudding. You can all write this down. 225 grams of flour. 170 grams of suet. Four eggs. through C1's books, Tom, and you've not been marking. I have marked the books. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Here, random. Um, it's very shoddy work. Is this John Langley, is it? Yes, he's a bright boy. No, it would help me if you put these in alphabetical order. You say he's a bright boy, but his books are a mess. I can hardly read his name. There's Graffiti on the cover. Isn't it more important he gets down what he's trying to say? No. The first priority is that he understands the rudiments of the curriculum. If he's simply writing down what you've written on the blackboard, he's not trying to say anything, is he? And it's no excuse for shoddy work. But let's not get sidetracked. The point is, um, there are no marks in his book. Yes, there are marks. Show me. Here. Good work. Another there. I've got a book on this. Ask me. Those are not marks, Tom. You mean grades? <laughs> yes. Sorry, I'll say that again. You have not been grading the books, have you? No. I have not been grading the books, but I have been marking them. From now on, please grade their work. You want me to rank them, put them into order? Yes, and I want you to test them this week. Oh. I've prepared the questions. No further preparation is required. I only took on science as a second subject to help out the department. I teach rural studies. That's my subject. Um, I haven't finished yet, Tom. Um, we have to pick over the sticky subject of sex. Having made your hole, you put in your yolks. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, fast now! Come on, Scott! Scott, go! Come on, watch it! Armitage! Armitage! No. Where's your singlet, Armitage? Lost, sir. Lost, lost! My class takes pride in its appearance, boy. Off! Get it off! Come on, lad, we haven't got all day! <laughs> Quiet! No singlet! Over! Stand up straight! Straight away, arms in the air! Running on the spot! One, two, 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 one, two! If you put it in too quickly, it goes lumpy. You should know that. Yes, what's your name? Sally, I'm sorry. Yes, Sally, what is it? Why are we watching, miss? Watching what? Watching you make the pudding, miss. Last term, we used to make things. Last term, the school could afford to subsidise your parents to let you make things. And this term, it can't. This term, you're lucky you can watch me make things. And I'm lucky to be here to make them.
When you see me coming, you stand up, right? Right? Yeah. And you do as you're told, as I stick my pen right up your ass, and I bloody mean it. And you call me Baron, right? <laughs> call me Baron now. Do it! Baron. Say yes, Baron. Yes, Baron. And you pay your subs. That's tempting any time I ask for it. I just cut your stupid cock off. Got it? <laughs> At the end of the week, there is going to be a test. I am writing a list on the board of subjects upon which you will be tested, together with the questions. If you wish to do well in the test, write down the list together with the questions and prepare your answers. If anybody needs help, ask me or help each other. There's this constant dribble, Booth, Faisal and company, the cream of the A-stream flowing in and out of my class down here to get their asses whacked. Then don't send them. I don't send them, it's not me, it's for crimes committed while in the act of studying wool yields in Australia and math. Why can't people keep their kids straight? It's all in the staff handbook. Tony Kitchen and me, the two deputy headmasters, are the official whackers and no other people can lay a hand on the pupil's arse. It's all in the book. There's always a bigger queue outside your door. Griff's life centre and I've lost it. Tony takes his work more seriously. He takes a run-up before he lays it on. It's buggering up my classes, Vic. What do you want, John? Mr James sent me to you, sir. What for? Eating, sir. Eating? Eating in class, were you? Yes. And what were you eating? Chewing gum and chocolate, sir. Together? Yes. And have you done this before in class? Yes. And Mr. James caught you and warned you before, did he? Yes. And for talking, he told me to tell you I'm a blabbermouth. A what? A blabbermouth. Well, you don't look like a blabbermouth to me, John, but then who am I to contradict Mr. James? You're in the first year, aren't you? Yes. And you're 12 years old? Yes. And because you're 12 years old, I have this to say to you, John, very grave, this. Because you are a child of 12 tender years, I have to ask you this. Now, do you want me to get in touch with your mother and father and tell them about your being a blabbermouth? Or would you rather take the soft option and have a slap of the slipper? Is that to you, John? A slipper, please, sir. Right, I knew you'd see sense. You're nothing if not polite, John. Now, bend all that. If you go and tell Mr. James I gave you one slap of the slipper for the blabbermouth and that I've put it in the punishment book. Thank you, sir. You always lay it on like that. Little strokes for little asses. And why bother? It's quick and it's easy. So is Clarice. Teachers can't keep their kids straight. Not my problem, brother. I don't want them bending over in your office when they should be in my class. How do I stop it? Are you serious? Yeah. You'll not be popular. Come on, how do I fix it? Try snow. Sounds like a memo job. You'll have to negotiate with the bulk. And why her? She writes out the memos. And she's got the key to the force stat machine. In a knicker. I w is it convenient for me to see Mr. Griff? What is it about? My name's Alison Cooper. I'm an ex pupil. Oh, Alison. Yes, I remember you. Yes. I didn't recognize you from the moment you changed. Your uh, oh, hair is different. Yes. This is Alison Cooper. How are your parents? Very well, thank you. Is it possible for me to see Mr. Griff? Mm, today, I'm afraid not. I couldn't even squeeze you in. But I could put you in next week. You in a hurry? Any time will do. How about next Tuesday, 2.30, right? Yeah. Yeah, OK, yeah. Yeah. Who let this door open? Out! All of you, out! 
in a line, in a line. That is what the arrow means. Line up in an orderly and civilized fashion along here in a line. Not lounging about like thugs and prostitutes on the street corner. Right, in you go. Mr. Hudson. Though it may have something to do with it. It's the ruling class, the middle class, the working class. Class. Pay attention, Anna. War. The Red Hoser. The what? The Red what? The Red Hoser. They're an African tribe. Yeah, King. Shut it, bro. They have fighting rituals. They settle all their fights with sticks. All the young men carry sticks. Why do you need a stick for when you can kick him in the bollocks? Yeah. Do you want us to come in and <laughs> Now, this is a list you can add to. This is a list of subjects we're going to discuss. Yeah, but do you want us to copy it down? Oh, yeah. Plastic grass. Yeah, they've got that in the proofs that don't pass away. That's right. We all know that. Dogs, they saw all over it. It takes an hour to go away. I've seen it. Just sits there stinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think of plastic grass? Do you like it? I don't know. We ain't got a dog. You got a dog, Sil. <laughs> Do you want us to copy that down or no? No, Sil, I don't want you to spend the lesson copying out. I think we've got better things we can do with our time, but you have a choice. You can spend the lesson copying out, or you can spend it discussing these or any other subjects which may interest you. All right, Sil? I don't care. I'm not here because I want to be here. It ain't nothing to do with me. What are you starting on me for? She's fit. Oh, what do you know, clever bollocks? So don't. If I'm fit, so are you. We're all fit. That's why we're in this Because we're thick. So up you. Don't ask me no questions. You're the teacher. You've got to take it out of your head and put it into mine. That's your job. You're the teacher. Listen to it. Cone bollocks! Right. The usual for an essay is two sides with a special of five. I expect a minimum of five with a special of 15. But that's not today, that's not tomorrow or even this week. So forget about it. Today, just sit back, relax, do nothing. Just talk. Deputy heads for discipline. 
No, I've not made a complaint. I just don't like kids wandering out of my class in my time to get their asses whacked. This time, do you say who is it? The whole class got high marks. That's good, isn't it? But they knew the questions in advance. Yes, I know. The whole purpose of a test is that the children do not know what questions so that they are to be asked so that they do not have an opportunity to prepare their answers. Where else, other than at school, are they ever going to be asked to do that? In life, Mr. Twentyman, in life. What's the point of testing their general knowledge if they know the questions in advance? So that they can approach and execute the task without fear, without being marked down as failures. So that they can research their work in advance, with the help and cooperation of people around them. I mean, that's life as well, isn't it? Mr. Twentyman, in future, when a class I'm is sorry, to be I'm tested, late. I haven't finished, Mr. Twentyman, just one point. Under no circumstances are you to teach mammalian reproduction or sex education without my permission. Is that understood? If it comes up, I can't avoid it. I follow what interests the class. Our job, Mr. Twentyman, is to follow the syllabus. I stand by what I've said. Stephen Harris, the one with the moustache, known to his friends as Wanker Harris. No, he was at the front. Alan Fraser, little lad with blonde hair. Send a little bugger to me. Don't wait. Thank you. Just got a wanker. Who? Little Alan Fraser. Probably part of a gang. What do you mean? A wanking guy. What do you mean? They team up for mass wanking. In my class? Most likely. <laughs> There's smoking gangs and glue gangs. There's randy gangs and wanking gangs. What are they doing over there, that lot? They're constructing a Motton Bailey Norman castle. Looks like pissing about to me. Hodgson won't like it. I don't like what Hodgson is doing to me, Mick. He's trying to teach me a lesson, Mick. Put me in line. He doesn't like the way I teach. But I'm not going to get into this. But you're teaching mixed ability. And it's getting up Hodgson's nose. Where do and you others. Where do you stand, Vic? I don't take sides. What's the difference between a wanking gang and a randy gang? How glad I am you asked me that question. Wanking gangs sit around in groups, ruining their eyesight in the classroom. The whole point of a gang wank is to do it in the classroom. Mass desk trim. <laughs> and randy gangs. Randy gangs chase little girls around the playing field to get a smelly finger. It's about the limit of sexual education in this school. The blind leading the blind. What the hell is that? Up there is early. Do you teach sex? For the kids, that is, in class. It's on the curriculum. They get a week of it in the second year. That's it. More or less. The details are left to the parents. The blind leading the blind. They learn more from the lavatory walls than they do in the classroom. Nobody gives a toss. What do you do? I tell them everything. I'm writing them a book on it. We're on playground patrol tomorrow. So what? 
arse. So what you gonna do about it? Kick your arse is what I'd like to do. You kick me and my dad will be down here. I'll tell him, you can't do that. No, I can't, but I can send you to see Vic. No, not Vic, you go to see Mr. Kitchen. You go to see Mr. Kitchen, you wait outside his door, you wait you're here until he comes. And when he comes, you tell him I sent you, and you tell him what you were doing with this. You lie and I'll use it to cut off your balls. Now bugger off! Don't oh, you worry, son, all right? All right, Martin, you can go now. I'll talk to you later. You'll be pleased to hear that I just sent Stephen Harris of A4 to Mr. Kitchen for using threatening behaviour. There's a collection going round for Mr. Peters of the Geography Department. I'll give him a I don't know. Is he leaving? He's left. Oh. He died just before half term. I've only been here a few weeks. There are 70 staff. I've met 20. I know seven. I just didn't get around to Mr. Peters in time. Follow me. Ah, Jeff, come here. What's he doing here? I sent him to see Tony Kitchen. Did you now? Stay there, Peter. Will you do the honours on Stephen Harris A4? Extracting money with menaces. Refuses to bend over. Ah, yeah, oh, Neil, thank you. I could do with a bit of muscle. Uh, I'll cut it for you, sir. Yes, I can see that, Brian. Thank you very much. You can go now. Not you. Stephen Harris, you are here because you're a bully, and nobody in this school tolerates a bully, and that includes me. Where's the knife? I've got it back here. Yeah. That's more than I. Shut up! You were sent to see Mr. Kitchen, but you came to see me, old softy Vic, but it doesn't matter. Because Mr. Kitchen is here anyway. Look at that. You can kill with this, don't you know that? It's not a toy, it's a deadly weapon! It's mine. You tell that to the police, Stephen. Now, I asked you very nicely before these gentlemen arrived, and I'm going to ask you again. Will you please bend over? No. Okay, boys. Grab his other leg, Jeff. Grab his other bloody leg! Oh. Okay, Tony. Finish. Thanks, boys. Okay, Stephen, that's it. Nothing more to be said or done. You can go. Thanks, Jerry. Let me try, Vic. Here. Wipe him off with this. It's not serious. See the nurse. We'll put some devil on it. Good bugger. Look at that bloody knife. Christ, Vic. All right, Peter. Then you come, boy. Now, Peter, what's it about? What are you here for? Who sent you? Mr. James. What for? Why did Mr. James send you, Peter? For making a noise, sir. What kind of noise were you making? I... noise, sir. In class? Yes, sir. And did you make a noise in class? I don't know. Well, you must know whether you did or not. It's not the kind of thing to escape one's notice, is it? I didn't mean to. But you did it? Yes, sir. So what's it going to be, Peter? You've not been to me before, have you? No, sir. Well, I can't give you lines. I must not be <coughs> in class a thousand times. Writing should not be a punishment. And I can't keep you in detention because you're too young. Would you like me to discuss it with your mother and father? No, sir. So, it has to be at the slipper. 
I refuse the slipper. Right. You have just said you refuse the slipper. Is that correct? Yes, Do sir. Do you seriously want me to get in touch with your mother and father? No. That would be writing a letter. They would have to come down here. That would take time. And in the end, you'd probably end up by getting whacked by the lot of us. Do you want that? No, sir. Do you think your dad wants to take time off work to discuss one little... No, sir. He'll have a lot of trouble for one little... Isn't it? Sir. So why not take the slipper? No. It won't hurt. I won't hit you hard, I promise. Just one little tap on your bum. And then you can get back to your class, and I can get back to organising next year's timetable, OK? No, sir. Have you got something wrong with your bum? No. Then why don't you want the slipper? I don't have to have it. It says so in the staff handbook. How do you know this? I read it in the staff handbook. Yes, but you're not staff, are you? Are you? No, sir. Where did you find it? It was lying in the classroom. I read it. Saved by the bell. Oh, this has to be solved. Well, I sold it. Let him go. No, I can't. I'll give him a warning. I can't, all right. Why not? You see what happens when you let them get away with it. You treat them soft and they think you are soft. No, it's got to be sorted out. It's my job. Look at him, Vic. If he doesn't want the slipper, I shall have to contact his parents. Those are the rules. I didn't make them. Now, Peter, I want you to wait here and think about it. And all the long time I'm away, I want you to think about what you're doing. And when I come back, we'll discuss it again. It has potential. Yes, you could say that with Harris when he was drowned. Now you've got a marked up as a thick, just like the rest of us. The bell has gone! Get back to the classrooms! Potential is standing in this school smoking silk, cutting eight in our guts. And I've dedicated my life to them. You have entered an educational wasteland where the fertile soil of intelligence ends and the desert of ignorance begins. Arms out straight. And again. Fraser wears the gloves in gym and on the playing fields until he has the strength to reach the roof. Carry on running, begin. And I should wear them at home in bed, Fraser. Then you'd stop fiddling with your disgusting, smelly little winkle, you wanker. Hello? I'd like to lose the stat machine if that's possible. Can you use at the moment? Right. I'm ah! I tell Mr. Griff you're here, Mr. Hudson. 20, man. Mr. Hudson. Aren't you with B3? Yes. I've just seen six boys, unsupervised, strolling about the gardens with forks over their shoulders. Several more are wandering aimlessly. They're collecting the feathers. The rest are in the classroom and you're here. Mr. Hudson! Yeah. yeah. Where's Marlott? I'd like to see Mr. Griff. Oh. Can you fix it for me, please? Do you need a wait? Great, fine, terrific. You came into teaching late, didn't you? You've only been at it a couple of terms. What's I got to do with it? This school is not the brightest star in the educational firmament, Mr. Fig. We have less than a borough share of able pupils. That's why I took you and your first class degree. We need first class teachers. If you want to raise some issues, there are more important ones than this. A 
I've been wanting to return this library book. I noted it had gone missing from the shelves. Books like this shouldn't be on the shelves. It's there for all to see, as you have discovered. Pornographic. A catalogue of crime. Petty misdemeanours. Boys' own stuff. Fooling on sports. <laughs> one. Out of bounds. One. I'd like to give her one, you know. Right there in the front seat. Nuisance of an assembly. Two strokes of the slipper. Bullying. Late. General nuisance. Jeans and still no note. Hitting kids for that. Don't moan at me, see, Griff? I have. I told him I was sick in the gut for sending Harris to be beaten. What did he say? Everyone pukes when they kill their first German. Then I put in a complaint about the excessive use of corporal punishment in the school. Official, in writing, with a copy to the education office. You've done that. I have. Quick work. Right. It won't do you any good. That's what he said. If you're going to start stirring, Jeff, I don't want to know. Little Peter Fields, what happened? Oh, he came around to my way of thinking. Oh, great. I've got better things to do with my time than writing letters about far. And Mr. Griff, Mr. Griff, there, there, that, that is what I think of that. I've taken that newspaper for 38 years. Mr. Griff? Mr. Griff! There have been two calls from the press and 23 from parents pledging their support. Nothing is to be done about Mr. Fagan, not yet. Book me a call to the Chief Education Officer. I will not have time to speak to any newspaper reporters. Those people in the office, are they from? No, unscheduled visitors. Ex-pupils? Yes. Bring I them in. In yes, spite of what is to be read in the newspapers, Elizabeth, today is a normal day, business as usual. Bring them in. Identified flying objects. It isn't plastic grass. Some of you may not know what that word means. This is another word that means exactly the same thing. been going, Paul? I'm Paul. I'm Barry. Yes. Um, what have you been up to since you left, Barry? When did you leave? Last oh, Saturday. An Easter leave, uh, Yes, sir. And what about you, do? I didn't tell you what I've been doing. I was going to come back to you, Paul. Uh, do tell me. I've got a job as soon as I left. Good. Where? The abattoir. Uh, how's that going? I left. I ain't got nothing now. You left? Not dismissed? No. Why did you leave? Well, I went to work. I couldn't get on the people. A show of hands. Those in favour, raise their hands. No votes for. Those against, please raise their hands.
Right, at least half the class votes against, the rest are abstentions. So that means that the class votes against masturbation in the classroom during lessons. If you had a vote and didn't use it, it doesn't count. That's democracy. Well, that's not fair. Why not? Most of those that put their hand up were girls. Why is that not fair, Faisal? They don't do it, do they? <laughs> girls can masturbate just the same as boys. I'll explain with a diagram. While I'm doing that, here's a box with some pieces of paper in it. Take a piece of paper out of the box, write down any question about sex that you want. Fold it over and put it back in the box. I promise I will answer it. Here's your chance to find out where you came from. This is George. And this is George. Two Georges. And I'm Terry. And what can I do for you? We come see Mr. Griff and say hello. Or... At first, it was a bit hard. Not having any O levels and only one CSE. I had to take anything that come my way. But then, I got this lucky break and landed a job with a computer firm. Now I'm doing very nicely, thank you very much. Got it. Raking it in. Suit you are wearing was supplied by the computer firm. Yeah. Do you like it? This is not funny! This is not funny! start by reading out all the questions and then I'll go through them one by one and give you my answers. Why have I got balls and girls don't? That's a good question. Presumably it comes from a boy. What are rags? Is wanking wrong? Is it bad for me? The answer is no, but I'll come back to it. What is the pox? Where do you... What's this? Where do you get love juice? Where do you get love juice? Do you wank? Yes, I do. Have you had VD? Yes, I have. But there, are, there are different sorts. I'll tell you what I know. Do homos kiss? Are you a homo if you kiss? I think I know what that means. Why do boys get the horn? The horn is a way of describing the penis when it becomes stiff. It's usually called an erection. What is it, Syl? Nothing. It's fuck a swear word. Refugee, brother. 
just had sex with A4 during religious instruction. Revelation upon revelation. Blind leading the blind. Hungry for knowledge. You can see the relief on their faces. With difficulty. Have you read the papers? Who's your mole? No mole. I took the punishment book out of Vic's office, made copies, rang the papers, sent them off. I've got a card from the staff. The British Confraternity of Teachers, the broken piece of chalk award presented to Geoffrey Fig, the finest example of gross unprofessional conduct. Where's the bin? Find a space. Put it on the wall. What for? Open classroom. Let them see what's going on. What a funny smell. Who cleans this lot? We do. The cleaners help out. They like coming in here. How do you get them to do all this? They do it. They wouldn't do it if you weren't here to make them do it, though, would they? It happens because I let it happen. You just sit there with your fingers up your nose? No. I usually make them tell me what they're going to do, but they choose. What's this? Dissection. Looks like the rudiments of murder. We're going to cook it tomorrow. Good luck. It's great. How'd you do it? Authority and discipline. Tie their hands behind their backs and stuff it down their throats. What's the answer? This. Love is fitter than fear. Gentleness, better than beating, to bring up a child rightly in learning. And if that doesn't work, clout the bastards round the ear. What happens to the cat at weekends? Goes home, like the rest of us, with Linda Butt in B3. appeal for him to go away and then we sent for the police to disperse them. You'd better get a clearance for that, Elizabeth. Very well. You have continued to deal with mammalian reproduction and sex education. I've not set out with the intention of dealing with those... Yes, yes but do teach them. I answer their questions. The time allowed on the syllabus does not match their curiosity. Next term, I'm down to teach the second years, and I shall allow them all the time they need. You will not be required to teach this subject next term, Mr. Twentyman. Why not? I believe this belongs to you. What is an orgasm? What is cunnilingus? How do homosexuals make love? I must confess that... It's a whole series of questions with detailed... Graphic answers. And this page, I presume, is a part of a whole series of pages. Is that correct? That's right. And you have introduced this material into the classroom. That's right. For what age group? For those who are into boys and girls. Boys and girls. Any age. It's appalling. Without decency. I'm deeply shocked. You recognise that? Yes. This book was confiscated from boys in the science laboratory after one of your lessons. This is a very grave situation, Mr. Trenchman. I see. Take a look at that. Good God! 
Take a look. I don't think I want to look. This is a spanking magazine. Caters for people who derive sexual excitement from caning and spanking. Titles like Over Teacher's Knee. I leave it to you to divine the cause. I bought it this morning from the local news agents. After reading our publicity, I copied that from that. It's a school library book. I beg your pardon? I borrowed that the day it came into the school library. I made my own edited version of it when I was asked to return it. I thought it had gone missing. Have you shown this to children in the school? No, 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 no. That's not why I bought it. But we're a spanking school. Why not show them? Avail them of some of the fringe benefits. This is dragging us all into diva water, Mr. Twentyman. Here is a paper setting out 12 conditions regarding your teaching in this school. They include abandoning your laissez-faire system of teaching in favour of a discipline structure to be administered by Mr. Hodgson. The curriculum and the syllabus are there to be adhered to. You are to follow Mr. Hodgson's instructions. How many did you get? Six on each knuckle. Are you clean out there? Yes, Mr. Green. Mr. Clintman, your wife's been taken to hospital. Can I help you? I have an appointment. When? Uh, they telephoned a little while ago. When did she go into labour? They did not say. I must go. But you have classes. I'm leaving in 40 minutes at the end of my next class. Thank you for telling me. What can I do for you? I have an appointment to see Mr. Griff. Alison Cooper. Alison? Oh, yes. Well, I'll have to wait. I don't mind. Card job. Have they sent you off? Not yet. He's talking about a suspension. Stupid you, I mean. There are procedures, professional procedures. I could have made an official complaint. Would it have made any difference? They'll nail your ass to the wall. Stirred things up, Vic. People know about it now. He's going to put a plan on corporal punishment. What? Griff told me. Homage to Strasbourg. Phase it out over the next two years. Oh, it's to me. He's going to throw the whole question of discipline back onto the parents. Now, do you think they'll thank you for that? It'll still seem like a victory to me. What? What was that word? Do you think you're going to turn the entire system on its head? One and a half terms in the profession. Johnny come lately, and you talk about victory. Here. In here. Golden rule number one. The only rule. Get through the day, and that's all. There are no victories, boy. I stir things up, Vic. A mere ripple. You're on the wrong side of too many people, brother Vic. Go public. Apologize to Griff. What? Apologize to the headmaster. Or you'll be out on your ass. No reference and no pension. Shit. Let me bag in the bulk's office. Have I got to apologize to her as well?
There's been a terrible accident. You probably heard the sirens. Yes. We have the police in, but uh, business as usual. You've waited all afternoon, Alison. It must be important. And I've done two more A-levels since I left school. So, you have a healthy clutch of O and A-levels. You deserve a rest. I'm going to have one. Well, where are you going? To sign on at the Dole. I see. Really? Not for long, I'll be bound. Well, it's really not up to me, is it, Mr. Griff? Take a rest. Think about it. You can't expect it all to happen immediately. But you do have certain advantages over your friends, Alison. You come from a good home. You have a healthy display of qualifications. Extremely healthy. Did you get maths? Yes. Well done. A head for figures. I did what you wanted. I did as I was told. I learned what I was told to learn and reproduced it on paper the way you wanted it. Yes? Well, so what happens now? It's up to you. You have to get out and do things for yourself. Well, how do you do that? You never taught us that. You taught us to rely on you. No work now. No work ever. What have you done to help us live with that? Don't rely on us. Rely on yourself. We gave you an education. We gave you qualifications. What more do you want? It's up to you what you do with it. There are 1,700 children in this school and over 70 staff. What do you expect? Teaching you was a pleasure. You are not a problem. You are a success. These are my O-level certificates. These are my A-level certificates. This is why I came here today. I would like you to roll them up and push them up your ass. Oh, yes, and this this. You can stuff that, too! Why are you saying which like that? No patching him up. Told me to go back in an hour. Now was the birth. Tribute to Pethidine. Wife looked like she got flu. Baby was prized out like a limp fish. Looked hungover. At the last minute a gang of medical students came in. I had to fight for a few.
teacher. You're part of it. Why do you hang in there? In my class, children learn because they want to learn. I follow them. It's an open classroom. In a closed system. That's my way of changing things. A piss in the ocean. It makes a difference. Not when Griff's sitting on your face, it doesn't. Buggy your open classroom, he'll soon change all that. We'll see. They're leaning on you, brother. What are you going to do? I'm a family man with mortgage and commitments. What do you think I'm going to do? up your classroom. The kids will put it back together. You do what you can. You stay inside the system. You don't walk out on the kids. How many teachers say that up and down the country, eh? Laboring against the odds. Knackered at 40, screaming at the little buggers to stay in line. Stay with it, Jeff. Rick the arses of the Board of Governors. What does it matter? State of my breath after I've been around that long. No. Keep it, brother. Keep it. Enjoy your song. <laughs>